So again, it's a very special month, the Diabetes Awareness Month. We have Dr. Mark Barakat with us of Retinal Consultants of Arizona. Nice to have you back, doctor. Uh, thanks for having me. Okay, so we're trying to get aware of diabetes and some of the problems that it has, what well, we can do about absolutely. it. Absolutely, diabetes is a, a huge issue, as you all know. It is, yeah. yeah. Eyesight is, is something, I guess, like four, this was 2009, four million mm -hmm. uh, diabetic people had, repair, you know, had eye impairment of absolutely. some sort. And, and the numbers just keep going they, up. They keep rising. Uh, yeah. uh, if, you, if you look at some of the statistics, uh, it looks like about 9% of the population at this point is diabetic. Uh, approaching 30 million and and it's expected to to double in the decades ahead of us so uh, if you if you think we have problems now w wait a few years and unfortunately it's gonna get worse still oh boy we got to eat better or do something I know some's genetic but some is just our diet it's, and, it's definitely multifactorial you know, absolutely but we have good news because retinal consultants of Arizona you're opening something big that's going to make a difference for well, <laughs> diabetics, we we're, hope. We're certainly, we're certainly trying to do our share. Um, yeah. So a part of what we're doing is, is in addition to actually treating the issues and the diabetic issues uh, within the eye, we also uh, just opened up a new, new center in the, in the Phoenix area. Uh, it's actually the, the largest uh, in the nation that's independent uh, center for the treatment of retinal issues as well as uh, surgical management and uh, retinal research as well. It's, it's, it's many different pieces coming together to play a role because uh, as you mentioned, um, we are better now than we used to be thanks to research, but we still have a, a lot ahead of us that we need to address. Indeed. Well, and we're glad you're there because I know there's uh, like the two leading cause of eyesight or diabetes and macular degeneration at this point. Well, absolutely, right? yes. And, and, and unfortunately, um, well, it used to be cataracts way back in the day, and now we have a pretty oh, good you, fix for that. Oh, you guys have fixed that. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and now the, the, the new frontier really is treating the, the, the macular edema that, that comes with diabetes. Essentially, when, when you, the, the light-sensitive tissue inside the eye, the retina, is affected, it's painless vision loss that can really impact your quality of life, your, your ability to drive, to function, uh, to, to read, to recognize faces things of that nature and uh, sometimes it's con it's due to poor control the, uh, of your blood sugar but frankly sometimes it's just the fact that you've had diabetes for as long as you've had it no matter how well you've wow. you've been watching it just kind of wears on your, your body at it's, that point it's a it's really a disease of the blood vessels inside the eye unfortunately and and wow. this is why education is so important and it's, it's not just people in the eye profession that are important it's it's you have to you know talk to nutritionists you have to talk to podiatrists your endocrinologists which is one of the reasons why that we're doing this uh, outreach program. Frankly, tomorrow, um, I believe it's from, from 10 to noon at the, at the new yeah. center, uh, we're actually having a, a large uh, meeting for the, for the community where we're actually bringing in all these uh, uh, experts to, to kind of help educate and see what can you do and really to empower you um, because you want to take care of your own sight and your own body. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Now, is there a cure to uh, diabetic eye sight loss? Well, th there may not be a cure per se, but there's certainly things that help to stabilize it. Uh, between lasers, um, and medications that are injected into the eye, as, as terrible as that sounds, actually, <laughs> it, does sound it's, it sounds quite terrible, but usually it's, it's done in a manner which is actually pain-free. But um, over the long, uh, long haul, it really has a drastic impact in terms of saving vision and, and, and saving the life that you have come to expect. Wow. Well, that is nice. And, some, and I know retinal consultants, you do a lot of research, you have like the latest equipment. I mean, Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, when you look uh, across the nation, we actually have the most research trials, not just in diabetes, but in all the other uh, conditions as well, macular degeneration and retinal vein occlusions. And uh, we do that uh, in large part because you, you want to advance where you are. Um, and we want to offer services to, to our patients that we otherwise would not have access to. So these are things that are currently cutting edge and in research that are not yet available or FDA approved. We all hope that uh, it will amount to uh, an improvement in treatment. Wow, and, and what can people expect, let's say, when they go to like Retinal Consultants of Arizona? I mean, you, you do all the exams, you do the treatments. Well, well we, we try to do everything at, uh, in, at one time. Uh -huh. There's nothing more frustrating than coming in and getting an exam and then, then being sent out for, for more tests and then come back in a, you know, a, a month or two right. later to kind of get that done. So um, frankly, all the imaging is done, which is imaging uh, consisting of, of sometimes with lasers, sometimes with uh, dye tests and photographs and then uh, treatment typically is done that day or if not maybe within a week or two of that time. Wow. Now frankly, 
it's not usually a single treatment. Diabetes is a chronic disease. Sure. So you have to chronically maintain that and, and constantly make sure that it's, it's, uh, it stays at an appropriate level. But more, more, more importantly, at the end of the day, it's important that you have to maintain your blood sugars, your blood pressures, and, and your cholesterol. And that's never an exciting answer. I realize that. <laughs> no, thanks I realize a lot. That. We just want you to fix it, Dr. Barrett. <laughs> but that's Let's the most it. important thing you can do. Okay. And, and does uh, the Retinal Consultants of Arizona, do they have, uh, you know, people who help with that too? Or is that something that's an Well, absolutely. We, uh, we, well, we work very closely with the primary care physicians uh, okay. and with endocrinologists and for, for that very reason. We're just part of the puzzle. Uh, and, and so that's why it's always so uh, critical that if you uh, are a patient with diabetes that you monitor and, and, and check in with all, all of your physicians. So, is, uh, you know, I hate to ask this question, but let's say if you do have long-term diabetes, is there a way to prevent this happening at all or not really? It's just more doing the best you can with it and then getting treatment. It's uh, it, well, the best you can with it is, is again, critical. Yeah. But also the, the routine exams as uh, again, as uh, not exciting as it may sound, sometimes I may catch something that you may not even realize is going on. And if you catch it earlier, like anything else in life, you treat it early, you have better outcomes, milder consequences, and sometimes you can go on with, with fantastic vision and uh, for, the, for the rest of your life. Which is, that's the outcome we want. That's what we were. <laughs> so again, November, National Diabetes Awareness Month, you're having a diabetes awareness and support group program Saturday. Uh, what time? Two to uh, ten, 10 to noon. 10 to noon. In our new Phoenix location. And we're also doing this, of course, in the Prescott area as well and on different dates, uh, other outreaches as well. Wonderful. Information on the screen where you can find out more about that. Dr. Mark Barakat, thanks Thank for joining so us. Thank you so much. My pleasure.